I'm Tracy Gillis and I'm the learning design coach at Quail Hollow Elementary. So every two weeks I look at how many students are being conferenced with in each classroom and I send out an email letting the teachers know the percentage of students that they had conferenced with. And if I'm noticing a trend, then I offer support in that area with the teachers. I also work with PLCs to monitor the data. So every few weeks we'll look at the data and we'll problem solve around a particular area of kids. So for example, in third grade, we might look at all the ones that aren't at white and we create skills groups based on those and we do that for each grade level. So this year we had some flexibility with extended school day. So we looked at our data and we noticed we had a high percentage of fourth and fifth graders reading at the 1R and 2R level and we really wanted to close that gap. So we invited first all students in fourth and fifth grade that were at the 2R level and we conferenced with them. So that hour of extended school day looked like a mini lesson, some independent reading with conferencing and then a debrief for accountable talk at the end. Um, as kids were moving out of 2R, we thought we would bring in more students, but actually our kids loved it so much they requested to stay. So we still have kids that are in white that are in our extended school day, and we have kids that are in 1R that have also been included. I think something that's contributing to our success is we know we can't all do it alone, and so we're really working together to think of these students as all of our students, and we're collaborating to make sure that we're meeting the needs of every kid. So in our extended school day, it's really fluid with the number of students who are in it and which students are in it. Each week it's changing because of how their levels are changing. So um, some kids that have moved on choose to stay and some kids exit the program and we celebrate their graduation and we keep inviting more kids. We have seen a huge decrease in the amount of 1R and 2R readers we have because of our intervention groups that we're doing within the school day and our um, extended school day.